Hi. Now for this next part of the question, we've already seen in the earlier parts that what we have is a binomial model. Let's just read this back again. The probability of a telesales representative making a sale on a customer call is 0.15. And now we're told that representatives are required to achieve a mean of at least five sales each day. And for this part, then, we've got to find the least number of calls each day a representative should make to achieve this. Well, to do this, it's all based around the idea that we should be already familiar with, that if we've got x following a binomial model, which we have, as I explained in the earlier parts, then it has two parameters, n and p. And because we're talking about a mean here, the mean for a binomial model is e of x, and e of x we should be familiar with is given by n times p. And again, if you're not familiar with these ideas, you can always check them out on my website. I've got plenty of videos on this. Just go under the binomial distribution. So on the basis of this, we can say that since the mean e of x okay, is equal to np, we therefore know that that mean mp, therefore mp, has got to be at least 5. So it's got to be greater than 5. Greater than or equal to 5, actually, because it's at least 5. So that means that we can rearrange this for n. n has got to be greater than or equal to 5 divided by p. We don't have to swap this inequality around because p is a positive number. Remember, if you divide by a negative number in an inequality, you have to change the sign. OK, we can say but p equals 0.15. So therefore, what we have got then is that n has got to be greater than or equal to 5 divided by 0.15. And if you work that out, it turns out that therefore n is greater than or equal to 33 and a third, or 33.3 recurring. Now n has got to be an integer, a positive integer, so therefore what's the least value that n can be? So I'm just going to come back and say therefore least value of n must equal 34. All right.